In this video, let's look at a problem. It's a marginal utility consumer choice type problem. Okay, so these are fairly challenging. And what we want to do is basically want to get the consumer the most bang for their buck. And the way that we're going to do that is we're going to make purchases up until the point where their marginal utility of the first product divided by its price. Okay, so this is additional satisfaction or utility per adjusted for the price, adjusted for how much that costs. Okay, and that needs to equal the additional happiness of the second product divided by its price. The reason we do this is that different products have different prices. Okay, if all products cost say one rupee or one dollar, then it wouldn't matter and we could just com compare the uh, satisfaction. But the additional satisfaction per dollar matters because prices of things are different. So we're told there's this art student uh, and they want to spend all of their income, or they're already doing that, on pencils and drawing pads. Okay, So they currently buy 30 pencils, so they're already buying a quantity of 30, at one dollar each. Okay, So let's use our formula here. One dollar is the price of pencils, and then uh, what is our marginal utility? The 30th pencil is 100. Okay, We're told that. We might read this out of the table, but uh, in this problem, we're told we're told that this is a word problem. The price of the pads is five dollars each, and we're buying ten pads. What is our marginal utility of the tenth pad? That's four hundred. Okay. So if these are equal, then we're good, and they have maximized their utility because they've spent. This is this is of course conditional on their budget, that's what those three dots mean. And we're told that they've already spent all of their budget, so they're okay there. Um, well, let's see, 100 divided by one is 100, and this right here is uh, 80. Okay, 80 and uh, 100 are not equal. Okay, so I can't change, I need to know how to get closer to being equal. How should the student change her purchases? So all I can do is change this. So if I increase my quantity of pencils, okay, marginal utility is going to decrease. Okay, so we'd have some number less than uh, 100 divided by one. Let's say it's 99, okay. Uh, and if I buy fewer of the Pads. Pads price is still going to be $5. I'm going to buy fewer pads. This number is going to rise. Okay, let's say that goes up to 90. Okay, um, or sorry, not 90. So that's my final value. Let's say that number goes up to, because I bought less of them, uh, when I decrease my quantity, let's say that goes up to, I don't know, 450. Okay, now let's do our calculation. So we got 99. Does that equal uh, 90? Well, no, it doesn't. However, I'm getting closer. So if I continue to do that, if I continue to cut back on my pad purchases and increase my purchases of pencils, I will get closer to having the two numbers equal each other. Okay? And I'll do one more video uh, on why that works.